Hi everybody, I am so excited about how these um, shaker cards turned out. So I basically um, just looked at each one of these and I thought, oh my gosh, I could make shaker cards out of those. So I've made some really super, super cute shaker cards. And there is gonna be a little bit of modification because I switched um, basically these cards so much into adding these shaker cards. Um, it's gonna require a little bit different cutting. So we're just gonna kind of look over this um, to show you. So on the first uh, page of your cutting instructions, uh, zip strip will be same. The pattern paper will be exactly the same. Then over here, um, the grape car card stock, that's where we have our first modification. So if you're making these cards just regular and are not gonna turn them into shakers, you're just gonna cut everything just the same normal way as you usually do. If you want to make four shaker cards, we're gonna have um, a few modifications. So I noticed on this grape card stock when I was playing with it, that I was able to cut out everything I needed to by eliminating 2F here. So you don't need to do the 2F at all because instead you're going to make um, the uh, medium rectangle die. Let me show you, that would be this one. So I'm instead we're making this frame, which comes from this set, no longer available for sale, but hopefully some of you have it. I'm also gonna do a little video on how you can make your own, um, you know, if you're not using a Cricut, just how you can make it on your trimmer, I'll show you how to do that. So um, you're gonna use the medium die instead of this two F pieces. We don't need those. Now this is gonna take a little bit more room, which means it's gonna push all of these swirly ones, swirly dies over. Now for um, one card, you need the swirly, got, uh, swirly die all the way down. This is actually supposed to be this grape color. I did it wrong when I first did it. So you'll need one, uh, four, five and a half swirlies, which is how long that thing is. And then you're gonna need two, uh, four of four and a quarter. Now, if you cut four, four and a quarter, you're going to be able to fit them all on one piece of paper here, one piece of cardstock. You're gonna be able to fit these three F pieces. You're gonna eliminate these and instead cut the medium die there and then four of these um, swirly type dies are going to be regular five and a half and four will be four and a quarter. If you cut it precisely, you know, uh, using your scraps well, you can get that because you have a little bit left over here and stuff. So I just kind of was able to fit them all in. If you don't wanna um, have to worry about it, you know, just pull out another piece of grape card stock and, and cut, from, cut a second piece. So, now, um, on the glacier cardstock, this one, uh, there's just no way you can do it all on this one piece. So you will need a second piece of glacier cardstock. If you don't have that, um, any color will do, including like the leftover of this uh, sapphire down here, That's that will be just fine. Because you're gonna be putting it on this card here. So it doesn't matter if it's the sapphire, it doesn't matter if it's a white border, it's just for the border only. So if you don't have a piece of glacier and you, you know, just cut it out of any paper that will go with this kit, okay? Um, all, almost all of us have white at home, right? So that, that would work just fine. So otherwise, you don't have to cut 4F. Now I've got these instructions written also, so you don't have to take notes here, but this, I just thought I'd make a video to make it really uh, show you how to do it. So everything, um, uh, can be cut on this page except 4F, and then on a second separate piece of paper, you're gonna cut uh, four of the medium dies, rectangle ones. Okay, down here on uh, Wisteria, everything is just the same. On the Sapphire, everything is just the same, and then you could use that extra for cutting some of these, uh, some of those uh, medium ones if you want to. Then we get to the white on the back. You don't need to do a lot of um, what they have on here. So no 2G and no 4G and no 3G on this. So you can just do the 1Ds and then of course your um, little die cuts, which I'm not sure if I wrote those down, but of course you're still gonna do all your die cuts. Um, so you don't have to do 2G, you don't have to do 4G and you don't have to do 3G on this. Instead, cut the 1Ds and uh, the 2Ds here. And then your, your little, of course you can use your scraps for these things too. Then you may need to add an extra white piece of white cardstock besides this, but you're gonna need to do um, a small square die. 
which is here. We're gonna make two, um, so you need really to cut eight of these ones, because there's you're gonna need four for the first one and, and four for the third card here. And so do the small ones, eight of those. And then um, you're gonna need four, four and a quarter by three white rectangles and uh, four two by two white squares and four, four and a half by three rectangles. These are all written down in the instructions on the on the page, uh, uh, on the part of the, um, the guide uh, where I put the instructions, the basic cutting instructions, these ones. So modifications are written down there, so you don't have to take notes on this, but I just wanna make it clear. So that's all you're gonna have to do on that. And I think that's good for now, and I'm gonna make a video to show you if you don't have these die cuts and if you don't have a Cricut, um, because the Cricut is the, would be the easiest way to make one of these. You're, of course, not gonna have the little stitched indentations or anything, but we can cut one of these on a trimmer, so I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so if you don't have the dies and you don't have a Silhouette or a Cricut or any other die cutting machine, you can cut your own frames for these shakers. And so the medium one is four and a quarter by three, and the, um, the difference in the frame is about a quarter inch. So we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna do first cut this four and a quarter by three. And then basically all we're doing is cutting out the middle, which I know you guys are probably can figure that out yourself and stuff like that. So um, one thing you could do, it would be really, really simple is just to take your ruler and, and um, go ahead and mark on it with a pencil. So let's do that because I think that might be the easiest way to, to be able to cut this um, without too much stress. So I'm just going to, let me move this out of the way for a minute. I'm just gonna put a quarter inch here in from the edge. And I'm gonna do it from every side. It doesn't matter if these lines are gonna cross because we'll just know that's where we stop, is where each one crosses. I'll show you that on the trimmer in a second. You can also do this with an X-Acto knife. You could do it with your scissors. Remember, if you're gonna do it with your scissors, you're gonna like poke your hole here and then work your way to the side and cut. But the trimmer is probably the best way and pretty much everybody has a trimmer, right? So you can just go in here, line your trimmer up and you're only gonna cut from that cross to this cross, right? So I'm just going to put my little uh, pointer of my trimmer right there. Oh, I'm on a, a messy spot. I hope this is gonna work because my, you know, my table is uneven. Okay, I think that cut through. Yep, okay. So I just went to the, the uh, where the two lines meet. And I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna just line up. Now, See, it's not gonna matter which side I put it on because, I mean, the, the fact that I uh, did the pencil marks, I won't even have to erase them because I'm just gonna turn it over to the other side. Now, if you're using a color instead of white, make sure you're uh, cutting on the uh, wrong side. So if you want the dark side to show, you'll do that and you'll do um, the other side. You'll cut on the other side so and, and do your writing on the other side. Okay, goes there. Yep, I'm getting them all on the line, except, you know, my cutting is my stupid trimmer. I might have to snip a little bit of that on my, on my scissors. I'm just gonna get right down here. And that's how you do it. Let me get my scissors, because I didn't cut all the way through in the wrong right spot. But that's all you have to do is do it. And really, I think the pencil way is the best way. And then you've got a nice little frame. I gotta cut my little pieces there. But this is what happens when you have an uneven table. Okay, so there's a frame. And it'll work just like the other ones. So um, let's even try it, see? It won't have that stitching on it, so it's not quite as cute, but uh, you know, if you have a, 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 a trimmer, you can always do dry embossing. I've showed you how to do that before, and you could do little stitches as you push down into your dry embossing. So that's how you make it.